Hi, I'm Randy with Expressville Systems. Today I'm going to demonstrate the setup and operation of the Expressville XF4500, which is a four spout counter pressure bottle filler. Now, the first step you go through after unpackaging your filler and setting it on the workbench is to attach these support legs. You will find two of these in the box. It's very important to install these right away so that the filler does not tip forward during operation. They're easy to install. Simply tilt the filler up and you will slide the support leg between the filler enclosure and the rubber feet. Sometimes this is done with a second person there you go, it's in place, and now it's set. The other side has already been installed, so the filler will not tip forward. Before we get into the uh, operation of the filler, I want to give you a quick tour of some of the features and key components. Over here, we have a green LED light. There's one for each of the fill spouts. This light will be green during the filling process. Just down from there, there is a pressure relief valve, again for each spout, a 30 turn pressure relief valve that sets the pressure in the bottle. And we will go over it more during the operation, but this valve will affect the rate of filling and how much foaming you're experiencing during the fill. Down from there, we have a three position toggle switch. This will be the switch that will start the fill, stop the fill, and then release the bottle once you're complete. And below there is a pressure re release valve. This is a pull push valve. You pull it to release the pressure and push it to hold the pressure in the bottle. Again, we'll go over this during the actual operation, but what this valve does is it releases all the pressure in the bottle before you remove the bottle from the filler. Another key component down below here, this is the fill spout right here. What we have here is the air actuator that will raise and lower the bottle to seal it against the stopper. For successful bottle filling is you will need an air compressor that has an <coughs> air tank, a CO2 tank that will be used for the, the purging with a pressure regulator, and then you will need obviously your either your keg or bright tank source for your beverage that you will be bottling. One key point to remember when putting the bottle in place and letting the foot hold it there, always have your hands free and clear of the actuators before toggling the switch to start the fill because the air pressure will raise the actuator very quickly and to prevent any pinching or injury, it's in important to always have hands free of that operation. Okay, now we're ready to fill. We're going to start with spout three. We count the spouts from the left. So this is spout one, two, three, four. We're going to start with spout three. And the way that works is you just simply push the foot down, put the bottle in place, let the actuator rise up. There's a spring here that'll hold that in place gently against the stopper. What will happen now is I will come up here and the three position toggle switch, you quickly go up to the top position which says start fill. Now before I do that I want to walk you through what's going to happen. When I go up to there to the start fill, initially you won't see anything happening because the CO2 is coming out of the smaller tube, pressurizing the bottle. You will see the bottle pull off the stopper a little bit, 
as the air escapes as the CO2 is going into the bottle. That is about a three to four second process and then you will see the green light come on starting the fill. So up to the top position, you can see it's purging right now. You can actually feel the air coming out. Okay, now I'm going to fill the four bottles here. They're in place. I've set the pressure relief valves for each of the filling spouts. And I will just go along, again, make sure the pressure release is in. Go to the start fill position, which is the full up. And during the filling operation, the speed can be slowed down by turning clockwise. You could even stop the fill, or you could speed it up by turning counterclockwise. And as it hits the sensor rod, the green light will go off. You flip the switch to the stop fill position. As such, Release the pressure. Now the pressure is released from all four bottles. Go to the bottom position of the toggle which releases the foot pressure. And you can now remove the bottles and start the next filling cycle.